Welcome everybody back to Boost Motion, guys. And today we're about to go put on this carbon fiber ducklet on my Q60. So before I get into the video, guys, please, if you can, definitely hit the like button already if you're part of the Boost in Motion like squad. If you're new to this channel, also, you guys know what to do. Subscribe and hit that bell notification. But anyway, guys, hit that intro. Welcome, everybody, back to Boost in Motion, guys. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Thank you. So welcome back, welcome back everybody. So your boy Boost, if you haven't seen it already, you can look up there, I'll put a link above there. Um, the, I had an unboxing video for this carbon fiber duct lip. This is a eBay, one of those eBay seller parts. So I'm gonna today, I'm going to install it on my Q60. Um, let me just move some of the stuff out the trunk. Um, I'm gonna start prepping up everything because I have to put 3M and we're gonna do some testing. All right, so the first thing we gotta do is do a test fit. Um, just be careful, do not drop the carbon fiber lip. If you drop it, it's gonna crack and you're gonna get upset and cry because there's really no way to fix it. Um, all right, so this is my first time giving it a shot. My hands are always ashy, guys, so let's not even pay attention to the ash, okay? Okay, I'm not, I'm not from Pokemon. Um, wow, this fitment is already looking pretty good. Hopefully, I don't drop it on video because you guys are gonna laugh at me. Look at that fitment. And I didn't even put any um, 3M on it. Okay, this is good, this is good. This is a really good fitment. Um, even with this edge, see look how close that is. Let me see. I'm not trying to drop it and be stupid or anything like that. And this side, very close. It looks like it has a little bit of damage on that end. That's probably for me being stupid. But um, already, I think the fitment is really good. Might have some lifting up over here. Well, once I have everything settled then. Okay, cool. So, seems that we're good to go. Let me uh, clean the trunk off quick because, you know, it looks dirty and dusty. And let me start putting the 3M tape um, on it. All right, so I put the double-sided tape only on the more of the inner edge because I know if it comes here I don't want it showing and the same thing for up here too I don't want it to stand out too far all right uh, I was thinking about putting it on here but I was like nah let's not do let's not do all of that in that area so anyways let's uh, check out test out the fitment all right guys so I fought for this for about a good five minutes but I hope you guys like it All right, so let's talk about the fitment. So you guys see that there. Let's just try to get that to zoom in. I tried to align it the best way I can, but with the 3M already having already getting so sticky, once it contacts the paint, it's very hard to peel up. But going to this side, I tried to align it just as perfect. Some of you guys are gonna probably say, "Boost, you did an amazing job." Um, I tried my best. What I gotta sit there and say is, let's say that this we're going between a zero and ten for fitment and 10 being the best fitment I would give this eight um, all around here is good fitments good here especially when I put the 3m tape right here it's fine remember I didn't put no tape here because I didn't want it to raise too much um, but right here is kind of an issue that's because right there I did put tape but the tape isn't contacting the paint right there 
so it's really hard that part is really annoying but all the other tape is contacted here but all right here is fine stuck on real fine and I even tried to follow a line and see if the line came out or is it not fitting properly and it fits good all right here is okay most some of you guys probably use um, like painters tape or some kind of clamp for like some of the day or two or even like an adhesive inhibitor so it could stick on a little better I'll give this a shot because to be honest I can't even get this off right now eh, 3m tape but um I do like it I do like it guys I will put the link below to this carbon fiber ductile spoil I think it was like 150 or 160 from Amazon or something like that but I definitely do like it and this is my first carbon fiber piece for the car it definitely stands out I gotta lower the car this needs to get lowered ASAP can't it's just so weird being stock height Ugh. I've always driven um, lowered cars my whole life ever since I was like sick uh, 18 19 years old so it's so weird seeing it but I do like the build it definitely stands out maybe I should definitely get um yeah maybe I should definitely get some other carbon bits my Q50 had a, a rear deck spoiler and it had the um the carbon mirrors so maybe I'll do the carbon mirrors next I don't know I some people gonna jump and say boost do this I don't really want to do that carbon fiber I, I'll leave that chrome or I'll black it out or something I mean I would like to do something with these muff flaps though I wish they wouldn't paint it them the color of the color from factory blue or maybe just a gloss black which would have been pretty cool um, and other little parts I wish they did was like this part this part is also like regular like that grass it's not even painted it's a regular plastic piece I wish the little accents like this was either you know gloss uh, gloss black or uh, some kind of shiny material to it but yeah outside of that guys that's it this is the Duxville spoiler so tell me what you, what you think guys remember to always hit the like button hit the subscribe button with the bell notification uh, if you are new to this channel always please always hit that like button and comment please guys please guys so if you enjoy my videos and you want to hang out with those and see what what happens next with this car definitely hit the subscribe button you guys have a good day thank you everybody for watching do appreciate you guys love you guys very much you can also check out the two links i posted for some of my other videos also on top of that if you want to purchase some boost emotion merch definitely check the link that i posted also and finally if you've been watching all my videos and you enjoy them please hit the link for to subscribe to my youtube channel thank you